B plus 30 seconds. Starship 15 is airborne as we get a view of the three Raptor engines as we're powering our way to 10 kilometers altitude in today's test flight. Just past one minute into flight, we're through two kilometers altitude. All three Raptor engines continuing to burn. Next major event in about one minute is we will turn off the first of the three Raptor engines. Coming up at T plus two minutes, uh, we appear to have uh, frozen the view from the engine cameras. However, the Raptor engine's continuing to perform and we've got shutdown on engine three on time. P plus two minutes, 40 seconds. While we're trying to regain video from the vehicle, we continue to ascend. We have just passed the eight kilometer point in flight. Everything continues to look good on Starship 15. Coming up on three and a half minutes into flight, we're approaching the 10 kilometer altitude. We'll begin to hover here. We've had engine number two shut down on time. We'll now be moving into the hover with one engine. And then in a little bit, we will begin the flip over to horizontal position and begin our descent. Where hopefully a ground camera will be able to bring us live views of the flight. Just past T plus four minutes into flight. We've got the views back from the Raptor engines. We get T plus four minutes, 34 seconds. While we're working to regain video, it looks like we've got a shot looking back at the flaps on Starship. We're in the horizontal descent phase now. We're passing six kilometers. A reminder, phase that's coming up as we get ready for landing, we will light three Raptor engines, flip the vehicle from horizontal to vertical. If things look good, we will shut down one Raptor engine and then possibly a second one and land on a single engine in the landing zone. Five minutes into flight, Raptor continuing to descend. We're coming up on three kilometers altitude.
have ignition. Starship heading back to the landing zone. 